Okay, so today I'm going to be talking to you about dumbbell curls. I have a few clips here. I'm going to first show you how to not curl. I'll pause that, break that down for you, and then I have a clip of showing you how to properly curl. So let's get into the clips. You see a lot of swinging in this clip, and you don't really want to do a lot of swinging because when you do swing, you're bringing a lot of extra muscle groups into the action, and you're not targeting your biceps properly. Let's pause it right here. This is one of the most common things that you'll see people do is they'll grab heavy weights, throw it forward, and bring their elbows forward as well. When you're doing that, you're taking a lot of the load off your biceps and not loading onto your back and shoulders. And because you're bringing the weight forward now, you're changing the center of gravity, which is also making it easier. Plus, if you look at the second diagram here, you're not really going past much parallel from the ground when you do this. Next up, I got some proper bicep curls. You'll notice even when I'm curling outwards, curling inwards, doing hammers, anything with the dumbbells, my arms stay glued at my sides. By doing that, you're maximizing your stimulation on your bicep. By doing that, you're not bringing other muscle groups into play, which maximizes your stimulation on your biceps themselves. So again, as always, when you're trying a new exercise, lift light until you can lift right. Okay, well, I hope that was informative. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you got any questions, comments, or ideas, drop me a line below or on my Facebook page. And until next time.